Hello there. Today I'm going to be starting what could be a very long, time-consuming project, something I have never done before. What you see in the background is the start of the project. I am using standard definition 640 by 480 using my Samsung SL105. I'll also be using the Samsung SL600 because uh, there's too many problems trying to edit HD because there's going to be dozens of video clips before this project is finished. You probably want to know what the project is. I'm going to tell you what it's going to be. Hang on just a minute. What you see here is the head of Uncle Dorkle. Yes, Uncle Dorkle. He's going to be my ventriloquist mannequin dummy. This is going to be for the neck. I had to invest in a properly shaped bottle. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to dump this juice. It's not all that great. It cost me $2.49 for this. And some more masking tape. And what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the neck here. Be turned around the other way and be built up. This will be the form for the head. First thing you want to do is take the label off, of course. Very gently. The bottle is sweating, so we just let it loosen up and we'll just take it right off here. Okay, well, that's a Hawaiian punch. <laughs> well, okay, so we got ourselves a good bottle here. We couldn't get a um, bottle in the trash, and I couldn't use um, a regular milk bottle because it has the handle on it, and it'd be too much uh, too much work to build it up around it. So what we do is we take off the cap. Once this juice is out of here, we put the put this down and seal this around. We get rid of all this, of course. And um, make sure it's all totally dry and everything good and then we just start taping up. And inside here we can have the control rods and everything that's going to operate the your eyes and it's going to operate the mouth. But that comes later on. First of all I have to build this all up with masking tape. And um, it's going to take a lot of masking tape. It's also going to take some newspaper to build it up to the shape I want it and going around. I've been watching on the internet on how to do this and um, nobody has done it with a bottle like this that I've seen. Everybody wants to use uh, some kind of a, um, paper mache or something like that and uh, casting uh, material and stuff. But i got to build it on the old cheap here way of doing it. And uh, we don't know if it's going to be a success or not. Well, we'll give it a try. All right. I rinsed out the bottle. I got to dry it out real good, of course. Then I got to take off the uh, plastic here. Recycle this, of course. And use the... Um, this part here. This fits in. This is a one-inch uh, PVC schedule 40 I guess um, piece of plumbing uh, pipe and it'll go into the head um, to about down to here and then there'll be a uh, of course I gotta cut cut this out to uh, put in the uh, the plate that's going to be supporting the eyes and so forth but that comes later on first of all I have to clean this up and get this all off. I'm not going to put everything on video because there's going to be way too many video clips. But I'll give a progress report as I go along. What I have to do, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I have to cut an opening for the mouth. But I'm going to be wrapping all this with tape and building it up in areas to get it more rounded. Because right now it's longer than it is wide. 
and being that it's only going to be a dummy anyways, it doesn't have to, in other words, it's going to look funny, and that's the way I want it to be, but I want it to look human as much as possible, so we're going to do it, I'll have to do a lot of work on that. Now, on the back, I do have to have this cut off so that I can work on my, put in my mechanism and stuff in there, but I can't just do that just yet because I need to wrap this up. And if I weaken it too much by cutting out the back, I'm not going to be able to do a good job wrapping it. It's going to be out of form. It's going to be deformed. So the first thing I want to do is to establish the length of this rod, which is going to be the handle and also going to serve as the neck. Then I build all this up, and you'll see as I go along. So the first thing we're going to do is to kind of cut this cut this rod to the proper length. All right, I got the piece cut. Of course, it never can cut straight on these things. You need a, a tubing cutter to really, uh, you know, cut them straight, but I just used a hacksaw. But anyways, the main thing is this end is straight, so it'll be flush with the, ply the piece of wood that I'm going to put in there because the hole is going to be made in the wood and it's going to fit tight in there and then it'll be glued in place and and held in there so that um, in addition to secure it at the neck area where the bottle uh, screw cap goes that'll be built up and glued there so once this is in place it's permanently in there so as you can see the wood like I say is going to be right in this groove here it's going to be right in this area so this wood will be uh, sitting there and it'll be flushed out with this and then uh, I'll be building this up so that there'll be no play in here. Secure it. And then it's going to be it's going to be built up in this area so it becomes a neck. And then I have to build out, this is the back here, I have to build out this part here so there'll be a chin and then of course i got to build out a nose and so forth. And as I go along I'll be doing that. But this gives me a form to work on. Originally, I was going to use one of them mannequin uh, styrofoam head forms, but um, then that would require a lot of uh, work with pa paper mache, which I've never worked with, and a lot of work. And you know, I don't want to put money, a lot of money into this. I want to be able to do this on the cheap, like I do everything else. Um, and uh, if it works out, we got a good little. Uh, dummy here. If not, well, then we don't have a dummy. <laughs> Only the one that's behind the camera. Alright, like it or not, I'm going to have to cut this opening in the back. It's going to weaken it. But I can't get in there to put the board in or anything else until I do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. Cut up. But not to the... This gives you some support. There's these two dimples here. So you don't want to cut all that out, so I'll probably cut up to here. The, the back has to be open anyways to be able to do repairs. You, you know, all these uh, ventriloquist dummies, the back of the heads always come off so that you can do repairs on the mechanism. So what I'm going to do is, the, originally I'm going to wrap this up with masking tape anyways. And then, after I get my full layer of masking tape on the entire thing, uh, then I will cut out the opening so that the tape will give it a little bit of strength. I'll cut out the back and when I'm when I accomplish that with the handle then I'll start building up for the ears and the mouth and uh, the nose and then I'll cut out for the mouth and the front. But I won't do that just yet. I have to open this up first so I'm going to tape this whole thing up first of all. And this is only a, uh, a, a single uh, layer of tape right now uh, and from there I continue with more layers and then build it up. Uh, you'll see as I go along. Until it becomes a human head shape. Hopefully. I'll videotape a little bit of this. This is the very, this is just a very, very preliminary start of this whole thing. And it's going to require a lot of tape. But this type of tape 
is easy to paint. Anyways, I'm going to get off the camera now and finish taping this. Just give you an idea of what I'm doing. i got a lot of work to do on this yet. All right, as you can plainly see, I got it mostly taped up. I still have to insert this. Now you're saying, well, where, where am I going to, how am I going to see what I'm doing? Well, the two dimples that are in this bottle that the juice came in, which I showed you in the beginning of this video, is the rear. Where I got to cut is right on this groove here. This is the bottom part of the cut, and I got to cut up like this and cut up to there, but not in this area. What I'm going to do is wrap a couple more layers of uh, tape around here first. Give it a little strength. Now, that you're probably wondering why I didn't do the top. Because, well, this uh, mannequin, or dummy, head is not going to be flat a flat top. I'm going to take some newspaper and just jam it in there and then build it up. So that the head will be rounded. And I have to spend some time. But I won't do that yet, because I'm concentrating on making the opening here and getting that piece of wood made up and get that mounted. And then put the necessary fasteners in the all around here to fasten the wood in there when the handle's in to keep everything together. And then naturally I put more tape on it and build up the head and make it into something that looks human. Now on the rear, it doesn't matter if it's flat, because you're not going to see that. The wig is going to go over that anyhow. So, the main thing is, i got to cut this opening out. And uh, we don't want to lose the side strength here. We are going to lose some strength by cutting that out. But I can't do anything with this wood going in here until I get this back open. So I'm going to have to do that. So we're going to get a sharp razor blade and start cutting. careful not to cut too much out of here. I'm going to stay on the line and turn the blade around where the, not a sharp edge we don't have a dull edge here. Now before I take this all out I'm going to put a mark on it. So it goes back in in case the cut is not perfect it will go back in the way it came out.
not going to be exactly perfect. That's enough room to get my hand in there and get the wood in there and everything. Because I'm going to be building this all up with more tape and all kinds of padding. But this will be this will be the back of the skull. That'll go back in. And this don't have to be built up, but just got to be able to keep it in there. But that's the last thing I'm worried about because I can make some cleats in there and and screw it in there. Doesn't matter. That's the, that's minor. The main, the hardest part is going to be to, to work the mouth. It's kind of a system to make uh, the mouth, the nose I can form, and the eye holes. You know. And before I can do the eye holes, I have to go into the hobby shop or the craft store and see if I can get some inch and a half. I think doll heads. I've been researching this on the internet, so I'm getting ideas from. Uh, the internet. So anyways, let's get back on this thing here. We'll come back on the video in a minute. Now I trace the uh, contour of the bottle. So we do that. And that's what, one of the reasons why I wanted to leave the bottle with a flat bottom. Five and a half inches. All right, I haven't used this skull saw in quite a while. We got to cut out the board now. Okay, I cut a little too low on this opening here because the board has to sit right like this because I don't want the, uh, the eyes originally were going to be up here but the eyes are going to have to be lower and the mouth is going to be here and unfortunately the mouth is going to have to be below the board and I don't like that because if anything happens to the mechanism it's not going to work but we're going to have to do it that way. As a matter of fact I think that's the way they're made anyways. The eyes are always on top of the board, of course, 
and the eyes are going to be right about here. These marks are just reference marks. They're not going. They don't mean anything anymore because I relocated the eyes at a lower level, and uh, it's going to have a long head, but that's fine. I, I, that's great. And then we'll just build this up. Still gives me time. Gives me room to move around in here. But we got to get the center of this. This is just. Uh, this is not right. I got to take the pipe and put it in here, and put some paint on the end of the pipe. And put it in here. It'll make a mark on this here part, and then I can make sure that that's centered where it should be. Okay, I opened up a can of black paint. Got this thing temporarily taped in here. Make sure it's where I want it. This is the end that's going in. This is the flush cut. Now you put it into the neck. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a mark in there on the board. So we just got to drill a hole now if we put that pipe flush in there all right well this is the piece that's going into the head as showed you before I can't find anything to make a um, they don't make a plastic flange to hold this in vertical and I could make the hole bigger so that this goes into the plywood and uh, silicone it but it's not going to give me enough strength that's only like 3 8 plywood so Hunting around for about a half an hour in the Home Depot, I was able to come up with with this, and that would sit like that. The pipe would go on that, and then I got these little L brackets, and I'm going to have to put one here, one here, and then this hole that's here, mount another one here, and then screw that down like that. And what this has to be is once this is in and secured, you can't get at it again because this board will be siliconed in place in in the head here, right where that red line is. So what's going to happen is this here. This bracket will be fastened down after I center where it's going to be with the L bracket here and L bracket off of here and probably an L bracket off of here. Three of them should hold it. Then this is going to be secured. Then this gets pushed in. Then I can tighten this clamp here. When that happens then it gets pushed down through the neck and um, siliconed in place before I can even do anything I can mount this but I can't mount the rest of it yet until I work on this pipe to get where the mouth is going to be right about where that red line is that you see there I have to cut out for that because the mouth is going to be below the board this board here so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to secure this on the board. I'm not going to go into uh, running a video on this. I'll show you when it's all done and how I did it. And uh, once this is secured in place, then we can proceed with working on the mouth. All right. I can only use two clamps on this because um, we got a square carriage bolt head, uh, you know, underneath here, and it's going to be a little difficult. So if I put a screw here and a screw here, that should hold it. And it holds it about a quarter inch off the, off the base here. So that should be okay. Now this nut, once I get this shaft into place, this nut has to be tightened up. And the only way you can get in it is through the mouth. So I open the mouth flap and I get in there and tighten that. So the mouth will have to be, the flap will have to be made here and be able to open so I can get in there to uh, tighten this thing up because once this board is up inside here that's it she's a done deal
Okay, I managed to get another bracket in here, and here's how I did it. I had to drill out this hole in here, much larger so it would take the squareness of the carriage bolt, it wouldn't interfere with it. Put another nut on the inside here, and I used this big nut for a, a spacer because I ran out of threads, and tightened all this up. So the only thing I have to tighten is this nut right here when I'm ready to uh, put the pipe up through the neck. Now this is where the mouth is, so this adjuster here will have to be roughly about like that. It has to be facing towards the front of the face so that I can get in under the mouth flap and work. The mouth mechanism is going to have to be mounted right about in this area here and controlled either by the thing inside here, some kind of a rod or something, or I'll have to have something running over here because this gets all built up anyways. Um, but all this all this apparatus that's going to go in here is all going to be in here, see? So, that's the method to my madness. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to center this Make sure that this hole here is perfect with the inside hole here. Mark it, drill it, and screw it down with these small screws that I got here. Well, as, as it sits right now, this pipe here, as I can't do it and hold the handle, fits very snug in here. So I really don't have to tighten this, but I'm going to. Because when you tighten this, it has a tendency this is rigid here, it's fastened here, so it, you know, you really can't do much with it. All it'll do is try to bend this bracket in a little. So I can snug this up. I want to be able to pull this out if I have to, but I shouldn't have to do that. So as you can see, the hole down here is perfect. Perfectly centered. So that I have one inch of space in here to operate to put two rods in here if necessary okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to make something for a mouth here because um, I have to know where I'm going to be this plywood's going to sit flush with this piece here and the mouth is going to go over on this side I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet but I'll come up with something Never claimed to be an artist, but uh, this is the mouth here. There's the adjustment screw right in there. Okay. Naturally, I'm going to be doing doing this up and everything, but I need to get the, the main mechanism working in here, and I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. <laughs> 